Hi, I'm Jen. Welcome back to my channel. This week uh, on Cook the Book, we are going to be cooking another beautiful recipe from Kathy Mitchell. We are making dump dinners and we're going to do the stuffed chicken breast with broccoli. And basically what that is, is you take chicken breasts and you make a slit in them, stuff them full of some stove top and you bake them with broccoli. And uh, it sounds really easy, but I've never had it before and we're gonna try it. All right, the very first thing we need to do is make our chicken flavored stove top stuffing. So we're gonna just follow, oops, that's right. We're gonna follow the instructions on the box because the recipe says make it according to box directions. So a cup and a half water, a quarter cup of butter or half a stick and we're gonna let that boil and then add the stove top That was a that was nice. That was real nice. Okay, we're bubbly. Turn off the burner. Dump in our stove top. Give it a quick stir. You're basically just rehydrating and making soggy bread. So now we're just going to put the lid on that, set it aside for five minutes, and then that part is done. All right, so I've got my cookie sheet here, my baking dish. I've lined up foil and sprayed it with cooking spray. And now we're gonna take our two chicken breasts. Let's take a paring knife and just cut down the middle. It might be easier for you to do this way on the counter. Um, I'm going to cut a pocket in the middle, but don't cut all the way through. And be very careful. So there's one. And this other one here. Alright, so now you've got your little filleted chicken. Scoop a couple of a little bit of stuffing in each one. It's hot. I just burnt the piss out of my finger. Okay. Ow! Hot! 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 Okay. All right. Now it says to seal the edges with a little bit of water. Uh, never sealed chicken with water before. Let's see how this works. Okay, there's one. Oh, that one's gonna be a little bit more of a mess. That's all right, see, we'll just flip it over and there you go. It's beautiful, perfect. All right, now that it's on our cookie sheet stuffed with stuffing, it says to brush vegetable oil on the chicken. We got about two tablespoons of oil here. And then after that, it says take a bag of frozen broccoli. I have Normandy mix because I like squash. And it says to toss the rest of to toss the rest of the oil in there with your vegetables. And then to put it on the baking sheet with the chicken. I'm gonna put it on there and then now we're gonna spread it around here. Put it around the chicken. Okay, um, now it says to put it in the oven, just like this, just like this. Uh, I know that deviating from uh, Miss Kathy's recipes have, has not been 
successful for me in the past. So, bad news. I, I didn't pay attention like I should have. Well, um, this is what happens when you take matters into your own hands and then walk away. However, the only thing I'm gonna do differently this time is sprinkle a little bit of garlic salt on everything because there's no seasoning. A little bit of garlic salt and just a little bit of some pepper just to season up your veg my vegetables a little bit here. Okay, now that is the only thing we're doing different. Now it goes into an oven preheated to 350 degrees and we are going to bake that for 30 to 35 minutes or until your chicken is cooked all the way through and the broccoli is, or in this case, Normandy vegetables, is tender. So we're gonna check back in half an hour. Chad likes it a lot. Uh, if you think that you might like it a lot, make this recipe and then leave me a comment down below and tell me how it turned out. Or if you think you might want to make it, just leave me a comment. Tell me whether or not you like the video. If you did like the video, make sure you click that little like button. If you haven't already, make sure you hit subscribe and when you do, click that little bell icon that way you know every time I upload a video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!